not believe. Uh, I can. <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> oh, early bird again, mate. Early birding. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Where was I? I said, hang on. Okay. Monopoly type of no close substitutes. All right. Okay. Okay. You caught me. What am I doing? <laughs> what are you doing exactly? <laughs> what are you doing? We've come to the end of, of all the market structures, and I take it what you're doing is kind of giving me a summary table. A summary table. Okay. A very very useful summary of our key features. Yeah. Our key characteristics right. of the various market structures. Okay. So along the number of firms, and of course this is our concentration ratio or our competition spectrum basically. Yeah, yeah. Lots and lots of small firms, monopolistic, still many, many small, many firms. small firms. Remember the fewness in oligopoly. Yes. Right. And of course the mono banks. only one. So central market banks. Yeah. Uh, uh, or vegetable markets. Yeah. Australia yeah. Post. And Australia Post. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Okay, so, throw so in the type of product, identical or homogenous, homogenous right? yeah. differentiated, yeah. remember, to suggest that there's yeah. not that, not total substitutability, yeah. close but not yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The intriguing thing. So the different thing. apples, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the oligopoly, it can be either, you know, money, oil. Yes, yes. Up, but differentiated. Differentiated. Athletic. Footwear, yeah, yeah, right? okay, those those okay. sort of things, and the well, we're going to get to that. I take it, um, yeah, this mutual independence, yeah, and mono, no close substitutes. The only one, one product, one, one product, mono being one. Okay, okay, what do we got? Pure comp, control over price, none. No. So remember the price taker. Price taker. Price taker. So firms are price takers. Monopolistic competition, control over price. Remember, some small degree. Yes. Some small degree because of this clever yes, yes. differentiation. So if, so if you've got if you've got uh, uh, organic apples, you can uh -huh. uh, you can you can play on that differentiation and right. charge a little bit extra. And, and that's why we yeah. use that adjective monopolistic because even though it's a competitive structure, yeah, yeah, yeah. they do enjoy a small degree of market power. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Oli, control over price. Funus, mutual interdependence. Remember? Oh, God. I know, big mouthful. Interdependence, meaning your kick demand curve, remember? Yes. Prices can be sticky. Putting prices up, bad outcome. Putting prices down, yeah. not a good outcome yeah, either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. And you need to be aware. Of what your rivals are doing. What your rivals are doing, you say. That's, that's why right. your, inter your decisions, because there's so few firms, yeah. they know what each is doing yep. and they have to be aware of that. Otherwise, if they're not, they'll be beaten at the game. Yeah, and, okay. and, and the payoff matrix that we yeah. I talked about yeah, yeah, shows yeah, yeah, that yeah. as well. Okay. Uh, mono, control over price, a lot. So Supreme. So price maker. Price maker. Price maker. Yeah, okay. Okay. Fantastic. How easy is it to enter this industry? Yeah. Pure comp, minimal barriers. Minimal barriers. Minimal. Like no huge amounts of startup capital, no special licenses, no special patents, whatever. Yeah. And even with mono, mono monopolistic competition, relatively small. Yeah. Small amounts of capital. Outlay required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit more difficult. But, 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 but not, yeah, not in this case, uh, the apple grower can move from one uh, apple yes, to yes. another with minimal, you know, he just takes yeah. out the trees one. Whereas here he's got to stand up and stall the marketing yeah, yeah, a little bit, uh, you yeah, know, and, yeah. and have it. It's a sl slightly bigger Slightly. Yeah, slightly. slightly yeah. So, uh, Ollie, we're getting big here now. Yeah, so, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. banks, the brewing, the Exactly. You know, so it can be significant, significant, significant barriers to overcome, and of yeah. course, up against the the monopoly, even 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 larger barriers, yeah. large. So patents to overcome, special licenses, government permissions, etc., etc. So it's a deterrent to try and go head to head with the monopolist. Can I just say something here? Was I was looking through those slides, uh, the the video we made about. 
oligopoly. Yep. And something I don't think we mentioned there was one of the significant barriers of if you're in a manufacturing and you're an oligopoly yep. is that in order to get economies of scale, you've got to have a, a, a massive expenditure. Yep. Exactly. Uh, and so you, that's where that significant barrier comes in. Capital in, outlay is huge. Huge. Mm -hmm. And in fact, some oligopolies will argue that they can't compete, Australian oligopolies mm -hmm. will argue to the ACCC that they can't compete in a world market because yep. they don't produce in a big enough scale. Yep. So what they do is they argue at the amalgamation of two companies so as to get that yes. those economies of scale. Yeah, which the ACCC is a bit worried about, worried about because it. Exactly. that merging actually yeah. gives them a significant market, market power. Market so power, yes. You don't and know the that they're going to approach the monopoly situation. Well, yeah, and yeah. you don't know if they're going to abuse that no, market exactly, power. Exactly, exactly. So that's a delicate yeah, one so, to weigh so, up. So this is always a, <coughs> this is always sort of touted as being a benefit of being big. He is that you can afford, mm. afford to have factories with massive conveyor, mm. like yeah. the motor industry, for instance. Yeah. You know, you've got assembly line systems yeah. which are, bring your cost down much lower. But Bottling let, plants as well. That's right. But you know, we we always need to acknowledge that that our our greatest contrib contribution to technology, more often than not, comes from oligopolies because they are the yeah. ones that devote large amounts to R&D, to research and development. To make so sure they keep ahead of the market. Yes. So or they arrive. We, we've got to give them a bit of a tick for that, yeah, yeah, yeah. even though they want to protect their yeah, yeah, market yeah. share. So yeah. Well, we'll we'll talk about that. I suspect that in, I've got a suspicion there. that you're going to be talking about. Uh, Non-price competition. What are we talking about? Advertising? Yeah. For the purely... No? No. None there? One carrot is the same <laughs> as the next one. <laughs> exactly right. Monopolistic competition? Yes, of course. Because that's how they either develop those perceived or yeah, real. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and they need to let us know. Yeah, yeah. So it's so consumer it's, knowledge. Yeah. And certainly if the oligopolist is producing a differentiated product, big time expenditure. Yeah. I mean, how much does Tiger get paid to have a, have a marginal cost curve on his golf shirt? You know, oh, absolutely. That Nike tick? Yeah, 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 yeah. Lots of money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lots and, of money. And, 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 uh, what about Coke and Pepsi? Oh, huge. 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 Yeah, huge. Absolutely huge. The monopolist has no competition, no need to spend money exactly. on advertising. Oh, occasionally what they'll do is because they oh. have a monopoly, they'll have a they'll feel a social responsibility yes. to yes. tell the world yes. how, Envi how environmentally yes. friendly they are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but not to actually promote their product in a direct no. sense. No. no. Okay. So how do we go outcome wise in terms of our performance with yes. respect to efficiency? So productively efficient. Pure competition, yes. Yes. Right? They yeah. operate at that minimum, minimum of ATC. Of ATC. Right, yes. Allocative efficient, remember yes. P equals MC? Yes. Again, they Absolutely. do. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So th remember this. So yeah. this, this is effectively why this this is the bee's knees for us. Yeah, this yeah. is Absolutely. the holy grail. Absolutely. This is our point of reference. So everything else actually doesn't stack up. Yes. In the sense that monopolistic competition, do they operate okay. there? No. No. Remember, excess capacity. And are they charging a price greater than marginal cost? Yes, yes. they are. Not allocatively efficient. That's right. That's right. The oligopolist, again, no and no. Yeah. Sorry, right? So yeah. everyone's dubbing out. Yeah. And of course, the monopolist, well, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Big time. Price. Big time. The marginal cost. No. And so on. There's a gap between the marginal cost. It's and only the this price. market structure. Yeah. So, yeah. actually, in many ways, this explains why there's this kind of natural intuition in capitalist economies that competition is kind of the thing you should be aiming towards. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, yeah. uh, because there are these non yeah. uh, non efficiency conclusions from economic theory. A higher level of output at a lower price. Yeah, exactly. So, what consumers exactly. want. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And isn't it interesting how we've done this with graphs <laughs> and <laughs> theories, and well, we've come up with, a, mm. with something that's kind of almost in our blood, uh, you know, like the invisible hand. Hopefully we've got that across to the students that, that talking through the models yes. is actually a very, very exactly. crucial part. 
And exactly. I'm sure we'll mention that when we do a, maybe an exam revision clip. Oh, yeah. And, okay. and point out that that will become the cornerstone of their answer. Exactly. Draw the picture, okay. describe the picture. All right. Now, I think that's all we should cover now on, in this summary yep. table. Yep. We need to, I think, talk a little bit about the role of government. Yep. Uh, so let's, let's make another little video about that. Okay.